This is the new AF Viltrox 40mm f2.5 Z mount lens. In this review I'm going to be giving you some samples in both stills and video. I'm going to be looking at things like sharpness as well as different uses for this lens. Just a quick thank you to Viltrox for sending me out this lens to test and review, but Viltrox aren't paying me to do this video, so any sort of findings or opinions I've got of this lens are mine alone. The Viltrox AF 40mm f2.5 Z mount lens comes nicely padded in its box, and you get your manual, warranty card, lens pouch, front and rear lens caps, and lens hood. First impressions on this lens is how small and lightweight it was. Like the other Viltrox AF 20mm f2.8 Z mount lens I recently reviewed, the focus ring turns very smoothly. It's a full frame lens and weighs just 180 grams, has a 52mm filter thread, and aperture range is from f2.5 to f16. Lens construction is 10 elements in 6 groups, and it has 7 aperture blades. Minimum focus is 34cm, and at the rear of the lens, it has a USB-C port for future firmware updates. Focusing between objects was smooth and about medium in terms of speed. I'm using my full frame 45 megapixel Nikon Z7 to test this lens out and I've got all the lens corrections turned on. I'm gonna start with some sharpness tests. So let's go and have a look at those now. So I'm gonna start with the lens wide open at f2.5 and here's a shot with Yoda in the garden and my color chart. So if we just push into the middle, let's have a look. And you can see it's quite sharp, you know, for a lens of this price. That is pretty impressive in the sharpness in the middle. But let's go and have a look at those corners and see the stories there. Now that's not too bad for a budget prime lens. You're looking up into the corner here, you can see the slightest, I'm talking slightest bit of softness. It's not, you know, crisp, but at the end of the day, you've got to remember this is a budget prime lens. Let's just stop the lens down to f2.8 and see if we can get any improvement. Okay, so here's the shot, same framing, only it's at f2.8. Let's push into the middle. Again, nice and sharp right in the center of frame. Let's go up into that corner now. So looking in the corner now at f2.8, that sharpness has just got that little bit clearer. The other thing I forgot to mention too with the f2.5, I wasn't getting that much vignetting. Again, that's pretty good for a lens at that price point. Okay, so let's go down to f4 and see what we get then. So here's the frame at f4 and already just looking at the frame from this point of view, I can see there is much better sharpness in the corners just from looking at it full frame. So let's push into the middle. Again, very impressive in the center up in the corners. That is much more clearer now than say the f2.5 and f2.8. So stopping this lens down to f4, you do get those nice crisp corners. Okay, two more apertures to go, let's go to f8. Again, like f4, I think this is just really nice all over looking at the full frame. Let me just push into the middle here. Again, very impressive in the center. Let's go up into the corners. Now up in the corners, you really are starting to see some nice definition. It's definitely more sharper and crisp between those color blocks on the color chart. Okay, last aperture is f11. It's pretty much the same as f8. You still get that same type of sharpness just looking at it full frame. I'll just push into the middle. Again, nice and tidy and sharp, and then up in the corners. It's pretty much like F8 as well. In those corners, you get those nice defined lines between those color blocks. So looking at all those sharpness tests, bar the F2.5, which is a little bit soft up in the corners, it is very impressive for that price. And that's the thing, I've been reviewing these Viltrox lenses for some time now, years. And one thing that I have noticed, they are getting better and better as they go on. I think pretty soon we're gonna start talking about Viltrox in the same type of vein as we see, say, Tamron and Sigma. Here's a quick montage of stills using different sized apertures using the Viltrox AF 40mm f2.8 Z mount lens.
One thing that actually stands out with these type of Viltrox small prime lenses, because they are so lightweight, they are perfect for gimbal work. So I teamed it up with my Z7 on the Fayetech Scorp 2. So here's some examples in both 4K and 1080 HD video. All up, I think this lens is a brilliant prime for just walking around, whether it's a day or night. For those that don't have huge budgets and can't afford, say, the 50mm f1.8 native Z-mount prime, then this lens is well worth a look at. As I mentioned, it's great for gimbal work, and being so small and lightweight, it's not going to have your arm falling off at the end of a long day's shooting. For more information on this Viltrox AF 40mm f2.5 Z mount lens, you can go and check it out at the Viltrox website. I've left you a link in the video description box below. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.